Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my update for my project pan. In this update, I can roll one thing out and I'm gonna be rolling something else in. So what I'll do is I'll start with the one I can roll out, then I'll talk about the ones I'm still working on and the progress I've got on those. And then I'll roll in the new product at the end. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one I can roll out is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. Now, the looks like there is a little bit here in the bottom, but I can't get to it. And it's really thin, so it's not a huge amount of product anyway. And I'm happy to call this done. So I used this a feather three times to get to finish it. And I used it a total of 22 times in this project. Now, I did start here. So... I was about just I think below halfway on it and I've managed to use all of that. So I'm really happy to have this out of my collection now and this will be an empty for this year. So it won't be something I would get again. I don't even know whether I can get it again here in the UK, but it wouldn't be something I would get again. I am just going to apologise now, guys. I feel like I can't speak. Um, I've just had a really, really busy day to day but just in general like a busy week it was my first week back at work and I was also traveling with work as well so I I'm just tired I feel like I can't speak so please do forgive me now let's move on to the products I'm still working on so it might be in a bit of a weird order because anytime I bring something new in I just add it to the bottom of the sheet so the next one I have is my foundation and this is the revolution pro foundation drops and my goal is to finish this. I think apart from the bronzer and the highlight, I think everything is in to finish. So this is my progress. So I was here, now I'm here. I didn't use this a lot over the last month. I only used it five times compared to last month where I used it eight. I mean, I guess that's not so bad then, is it? So in total, I've used this 13 times and this was where I was when I introduced it. I think looking at that progress, I think a couple more months and I should have this one out. I made a lot of progress when I used it eight times, so if I can try and get more than eight uses on it, I may even have this one out by next update. This is a focus product, it is one that I am using every other day, but I'm also using another foundation to, that is in for usage in another project, so I'm using this one day, using that one the next day. Um, but yeah, I do think I'm going to get this one out, whether that be next month or the month after. Um, this is a good foundation, it's an affordable foundation. I just think now that, because I've got other ones in my collection that I do prefer, I wouldn't get this again, but yeah, that's not what this video is about, Sonia. <laughs> I'm happy with that progress anyway, at least I could make another line. The next one I have feels like a never-ending product, and it is my NYX Born to Glow Concealer. So I have been working on this straight since November last year, um, and I did have a lot of progress on it before then as well. So this is where I am at. So I'm, again, just still squeezing at the top. There's still product coming out. But I do think that this could be an empty by next update because I really am squeezing a lot at the bottom now also you're gonna have to ignore my nails sorry I've been picking them <laughs> so I have used this one 10 times this update for a total of 30 uses in this project I, I want to say next month but I feel like this is a never-ending concealer that just keeps going and going so who knows but I am using it this this isn't the only concealer I am using at the moment though and um, I have another one in my deck of panning so I'm trying to use this one one day, that one another day. Um, but yeah, it's all right. I wouldn't get it again. I did have the foundation in that before and I did enjoy it to begin with. And then when I used it again a few months later, I found it was quite cakey and a bit heavy. So I bought that concealer when I had the foundation and I've already finished the foundation. So I want to try and get that concealer out. So the next one is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless fill set powder so what i will do on the screen is i'll put a picture of what it looked like last update and a picture of what it looks like this update as well and i am really happy with my progress on this this is not going to take me long at all to finish now so this is where i'm at so i've used this one 18 times this update for a total of 41 uses in this project and yeah i definitely think this one's going to be done by next update which makes me sad because i do really enjoy this powder 
it is expensive but I do think it does layer the skin and I think it looks really nice so I will most probably repurchase it again um, but, I am, but I'm trying to be a bit more conscious um, of not just having stuff sat in my collection so I don't won't need this powder straight away because I do have the Huda Beauty Glowish one but I will most probably buy this one after um, I'm close to finishing that one um, but yeah 41 uses, I think this one will definitely be done by next update. The next one I have is my NARS Orgasm Blush. And again, I'll put pictures of what it looked like last update and pictures of what it looks like this update. I think it looks different. Um, but I can't remember where I was last update. So <laughs> hopefully it does look different. I'm really happy with the progress. So this is where I'm at. The pan is definitely bigger now. Um, I have used this one seven times this update for a total of 14 uses in this project. I had a really tiny pan when I introduced this back into this project this year. Um, and now as you can see, it's a big pan. And my goal is to try and finish this. I do think this could take all year, but I will be so pleased, so pleased to have this done. The packaging's broke on it. Um, it is a very well loved blush. Um, and I do enjoy the blush. I think it's a really beautiful blush. It is also one of those blushes where if you don't want to put a highlighter on, you can just put this on and it kind of is a bit of both. I do enjoy this one. I have worked on it over the last few years and then I had a bit of a break from it because I was panning it for so long and I've just brought it back this year to finish and I'm really hoping, really hoping I can finish it this year. So the next one I have is my highlighter and this is from the Revolution Renaissance Glow palette. <laughs> so again, I'll put pictures of what it looked like last update and pictures of what it looks like this update, but this is what it looks like. So again, I feel like the dip is getting a lot bigger on this. And recently I have had compliments on this highlight um, and it is a really nice highlight. So I have used this one 10 times this update for a total of 20 uses in this project. My goal is to hit pan on this and I feel like I'm getting close. Like I think maybe over the next month, if not definitely the month after, I will have pan on this and that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I do, I do really enjoy that. I think it's a really beautiful highlight that just sinks into the skin and looks quite natural. The next one I have is my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheats. Oh. I don't know if you can see this guys, but it's not, it's not rolling up or. Did I finish this and forget? Okay, this, so this is a done, this is finished. I could have sworn I had a little bit left in this. Um, but yeah, I'm twisting it and nothing's coming up. So I've technically finished two things and I'm so happy to have this done. <laughs> um, this just wasn't the right shade for me anyway. I was persisting with it because it's an expensive product. I actually gave my sister the, um, the other one of this because it could work for her, um, but the shade didn't work for me. So. I'm really happy with that. I did use this three times, this update for a total of nine uses in this project. And yeah, that is done. That makes me very, very happy. But now I'm gonna have to go and have a look at, for something else <laughs> to put to bring this in for. Okay, so the next one I have is the, is the Ciate Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. And my goal is to finish this. And this is my progress. So I was here, now I'm here. I really haven't used this a huge amount compared to what I had last month. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it's just because February was a shorter month, but even then, I've only used this four times, and I'm not sure how. <laughs> um, but I have used it a total of 21 times in this project. This, this was pretty much brand new when I bought this in. I'd only used it a couple of times to try it and see if it was something I enjoyed. Um, but yeah, it was pretty much new, and this is where I'm at now. This is a really nice setting spray. I do really enjoy it. So I don't mind working on it. And it's good really, because I think this could take me majority of the year to finish that, but that's okay. The next one I have, I am just gonna have to go and get. So give me one second. Okay, so I'm back. And the next product I have was in my handbag. This is my YSL lipstick in the shade number 48. And this is the Rouge Volupte Shine 
formula. So on the screen, I'll put a picture of where I was last update and then a picture of where I am now. And this, I'm, I'm gonna show you as well, this is where I'm at. So I haven't used this a huge amount of times. Oh my God, I've just run downstairs, come back upstairs and I'm so out of breath. <laughs> So I've used this one nine times this update for a total of 23 uses in this project Not a huge amount and I don't think the progress is going to look as huge as what I did From the introduction to the first update, but I still do think I've made some progress I do want to try and focus on this one a little bit more over the next month But I mean I'm really happy with using it nine times. This is a really really soft formula. So um, I do have to reapply it quite a bit when I do use it, but I would like to try and focus on that one a little bit more. And the last one I've been working on is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And my goal for this is to hit pan. And as you can see at the moment, I don't have any pan, but I have used this one five times in this project. Um, I only introduced this last update, so I have only used it five times. And yeah, I mean, I feel like the imprint is wearing away here. But I mean, this is gonna be in for a while, I think. But that's okay, this is one of my older bronzes in my collection, so I do want to try and hit pan and then eventually work on it to finish. This is one of my favorite affordable bronzers, so again, I'm not sad to be working on this. Now I'm at the point where I can roll in two new products now. I did think it was gonna be one, but no, nope, two. So the first one I'm gonna bring in is a primer, because I finished a primer, and I'm gonna bring in the Elf Paulus Putty Primer. And I've already got pan on this. And I think I'm gonna bring this in to finish. I do like this primer. It's just one of my older ones in my collection. And with this project, I do bring in my older products in my collection to finish. So yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this one in to finish. This could be in for a while, but I do think I could use this on a daily basis. I don't wear makeup every day. I feel like I have worn less makeup than what I usually would, um, but that's fine. I feel like some months are like that and other months I w could wear it nearly every day. So, you know, I'm okay with that. But yeah, I do think I should be able to use this every time I do my makeup. Okay, now I need to bring in something else. So what I'm gonna do is I will go and have a look in my collection and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have decided I'm gonna be bringing in this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I want to try and get this completed this year. So this is where I'm at now. I'm gonna remove these two marks here and I'm just gonna keep this one. So I'm about half wearing it um, and it took me a couple of months to get halfway. So I'm hoping in a few months I will have this one out. I really do enjoy this lip gloss, but I'm trying to work through my lip products this year and I would love to try and get as many as I can finished. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this Fenty Beauty lip gloss in to finish. So that is my update. Like I said, I'm really sorry if it was all over the place. I'm just, there's just a lot going on at the moment. So I'm trying to film when I can, but please do forgive me over the next few months if things don't go up on time. Just life at the moment is just, very very hectic so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and until my next video thank you for coming by see you later